Hi. <laughs> uh, chit chat about my keto diet. Um, it's been two weeks now. Mm, how do I say? It's quite difficult for me because I love food. <laughs> no rice, no noodles, no bread. <laughs> it's very difficult. Uh, fatty food is fine for me. I used to have like like fat belly, like you know Chinese food. Um, you can have, especially my cooking. I use a lot of natural fat on it, like. Um, chicken skin I cook with it I eat it uh, but the chicken under skin kind of fat I, I don't really uh, like it so uh, yes of course like uh, I think I lost some weight about um, two kilo for about two weeks time um, my starting is about uh, like, um, 63 kilo yeah from my record uh, my within uh, weight uh, the, the things on the floor and now I'm 61.3 so from 63.2 kilo to 61.3 kilos so it dropped a little bit um, about less than 2 kilo and drinking fat of drinking oil it's very sunny. I don't know it yet. Uh, oh, it's very hot. It is about 27 Celsius today. I can't stand it. <laughs> From the video, I'm thinking of like letting my hair down and cover from my face so it look like thinner, but it's too hot. The, the weather been very crazy and someone asked me, oh, where am I? That's why uh, about a couple last last months, I think, when I said it's so hot, they said, where are you from? It's so hot. <laughs> and after that video, the weather dropped about uh, 6 to 10 degrees Celsius. So it's getting very warm. We have to wear your kept out. And today... It's warm again. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I can't stand it. <sighs> Very hot. <laughs> I think black is my color. Even this one is not really. It's you know blow up. <laughs> uh, I noticed that like when I do this on my hand, I feel like I lost some fat on it. It's like bony. Uh, my hands is used to be bony, but after like, you know, giving birth and all the gaining weight, uh, some of my rings I can't really wear it. <laughs> Most of my rings actually is <laughs> not some. Most of my ring I'm not able to fit into my fingers now. Uh, I'm thinking of like I should keep it for my daughter, but the thing is, her hands is bigger than mine. Like thicker like the bone is thicker than my bone I don't know why maybe you know teenage until her 20s I think she will lose some weight uh, I'm used to be like very active during like uh, in my teenage years 15 16 very active swimming basketball running very active um, badminton, volleyball. <laughs> so, 
Um, I'm still keeping it and see whether when she got older she can fit into my rings. Uh, and I found like some of the fat losing, like the belly, you know, mother, especially I am a no exercise mother and have a quite big tummy that I have gained. Actually, after giving birth, I have gained a lot of weight when I was about late 30. It's really gained a lot. Uh, and then I lost some weight. And now I have, I can feel it like uh, the underskin fat is losing a bit. I am not going to show you, it's terrible. I'm not even like to look at myself <laughs> without clothes. Uh, so I can I can feel like it's more loose. Uh, of course, like here also lighter a little bit. Uh, my shoulder here. This also I can like when I do this I can feel the bone. Uh, I'm like I can have I eat not a lot actually it's like similar to what I used to have but just cut down the all the rice bread and noodles uh, yeah some people said like when you're not craving for all those things meaning your on keto mode but I don't think I will switch it <laughs> to that kind of not really craving for anything like that it's in my genetic I think I love all those things um, my, game, my, my, my aim of this keto diet is to lower my cholesterol since I don't have any 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 other things like bad reports from my body check, it's only the cholesterol problem. So as long as that test went out great, then I will start eating what I love. <laughs> I love cooking, you know, um, like Christy doing like uh, low crop carb diet low carb diet but um yeah because my partner he's eating normal it's not easy for um three people in the in in the same roof have three different kind of meal setting <laughs> so what i did is uh just to cook rice for my partner, uh, Christy will not have any uh, cr rice or noodles at, at night or bread. But in the morning, she will need. Uh, she will eat it. She's. She said. Uh, she's still growing, like six, seventeen. She said like um, she's not going for keto. Uh, just for weight loss, uh, she will just eat like as some of you said, like uh, balance diet, and and then low in uh, intake sugar and and carbs, just lower, not not zero, okay. So, this is our our goal or our go-to, how to do our health promotions. Uh, I found like my headache uh, about two weeks ago is my hormones that every time I my cycle, uh, even though it's not coming, <laughs> perimenopause I still feel the the uh, heart 
pressure went up. Uh, I asked my Chinese doctor, I said, like, I have this kind of headache. He said, yes, it's the blood pressure because it's go up from here, my head. And I can't sleep because it's, I have to sit up to let the blood flow, flow it down. Um, and then I now try start to do a lot of uh, stretching and a lot of lower body exercise like to not much to you know since it's almost 50 years old uh, in two years time right uh, actually yeah two years time will be 50 oh it's not 50, not two years it's a year and two months so 14 months later i will be 50. <laughs> uh, so i have to ex exercise my blood vessel uh, to you know keep it healthy and I found my legs is not as swollen as before when I start uh, doing this kind of exercise I'll try it if any one of you want to know like but I'm watching the TV series uh, Japanese series TV series which has uh, translate to Cantonese but I think uh, I can link some of it to to it on Facebook or something uh, yeah I, or, or YouTube I, I, I think I can link it uh, just the clips uh, to that you know how to do it I think from just look at the motions, you will understand what they are doing, I think. <laughs> when I'm watching some Japanese uh, YouTube video, even though I don't understand what they are saying, but from, you know, they, they use a lot of body language, you will understand what they are trying to say. Beside keto diet, what else I want to say? Oh, I forgot something. Mm. Yes, I have just found like just today. I click on some of the link, and it's set about oh, so sunny. Uh, it's set about the keto seven, is a supplement. And which helps to uh, uh, keep your metabolism rate going up or in a certain level which I will think I would try it I found my metabolism is really low um, that is why even though I eat much more less than I used to be but I gain weight is because my metabolism uh, but in this two weeks maybe is the uh, perimenopause also I found I'm it's easier like if I move like just to mop the floor of course mop, floor mopping is a big exercise I sweat uh, very easy to sweat like, not like before uh, like after shower my body hit like I feel the, the, the uh, my body start sweating about it took me at least 15 to 20 minutes until it's really cool down I have to fan my body to cool down some people will say just leave it let it sweat but I just finish shower I don't want to get sticky and went to bed right so and another thing about my my new arbor for my home entrance uh, is because like when it's rain we have a wooden door the blue door is a wooden door and we don't have um, a shade for it so the the water will just splash to my door and and they soak up with water sometimes I'm not able to open my door my father helped me to you know send some of the the 
the extra wood on the bottom part but still you know the um, humid weather like raining seasons it's very hard to open the door so I am thinking of having the arbor out so I can put, put something around the top to block the, the rain water from splashing to my door I have tried to um, shop for new doors which I'm thinking of like weatherproof, waterproof and they have some plastic like uh, doors but like I said I want it for my entrance right they say for entrance they prefer like wooden it's much more heavy much more uh, durable um, but they said even though those new wooden door uh, wooden door will have this uh, it's not waterproof they say we'll have the same issue if I put it like semi outdoor so I say okay and it is very expensive the door now is much more expensive like before this door I think before maybe a couple thousand dollars now is about five six thousand Hong Kong almost a thousand dollars US Just crazy that's why I'm trying to to, to keep my doors and try to um, search for a new kind of um, waterproof paint for my door. I tried to ask the um, way I purchased the paint, but I found those people mm, they just sell the things, but they don't really know what they are selling that is the problem because they just can you know how to say like everything just from the the manufacturers like the brochure like oh this is our product it's waterproof though from the manufacturer and then they will say oh this is waterproof uh, this is what they say is used for but is it really works no it's not so I'm now been searching around in Hong Kong and also in Taobao and see um, from specialists and also from the people who have used the product and the feedback. I, s I read some of the informations from like um, on YouTube, some of the painter, but they they. It seems like it's different. Um, the product they use that is not really selling in my area, it's, and it's not easy to find. And I found a lot of terrible things. Like I have a so-called rock. Uh, it's not a rock. We call it rock mountains in Chinese. Sac San. Okay, it's just like a. a, a, a a turtle pond and then behind have a rock wall but in Chinese we call sex sun okay and that stone the other day I, I, I saw it in the uh, fish market goldfish market they selling for a couple hundred dollars for a piece I can't imagine it's like that wall will cost how much money to rebuild it. Some people ask us to, you know, oh, just remove it uh, because I am. Blah, 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 blah. Wow, well, now I know I, I sh I'm not listening. Maybe they will take the stone and resell it, right? I keep it. Uh, the next step, like, we'll ask someone to clean and then to build a water filter over there when they have like uh, water flow then it will be easier to you know keep the water clear and easier in that way 
and let me see what else. Uh, I have think of like using like a lot of suggestions. Use uh, putting a, a west area on the the the, the front door uh, arbor, but I don't think it will be uh, nice to have that on the front because it's not thick enough and it's not really popular in in Hong Kong I have to see some because of the weather different our summertime is very hot and even though my uh, I have the wisteria on the side right and the flower is flowering but it's not big it's not like what we expected like ooh, like grapes and full and I don't smell the fragrance and people say like all kind of wisterias they they all or even though different type like from Japanese, J Chinese or Americans one they all very fragrant I don't smell anything and on the side I have the, the, the star jasmine and I have just purchased another type of jasmine as you know I put a lot of jasmine around my house <laughs> and and I have just purchased some roses from China. Uh, before I'm, I'm trying to purchase some from Taobao, but they're not able to ship it to Hong Kong, as I think I have mentioned it. But this time, they said they have shipped. Um, let wait and see how, how it's go. I have just received the, I just give it a chance and see whether they can really, you know. Uh, delivery to to my area the yeah already out and now this is the one I am thinking this is the one I have purchased uh, and then Waiting. What else? What else? Um, yeah. Because my and also my entrance, I, I have some mini, not really miniature, like a small type of roses around that area. But a lot of I, I I'm not sure like. I have to spray the people say like when you see the white fungus what is the the powdery uh, powdery mud, uh, mildew um, when is clouded or what but it's not clouded as you see <laughs> before the seasons uh, I have already trimmed them it's just like it's Ton, tons of wind flow around and I, I'm not I don't understand and someone said this maybe is the, the the fungus is on the soil if anyone know will it be on the soil uh, I found that depends I don't I, I'm still learning you know how to protect my roses my plant a uh, lot of um, chemical spray. I try not to put any. Like yesterday, I have just spray some neem oil with some uh, soap. Otherwise, we'll we'll clog the, the the pipe. Not able to pump it out. And some people say, I'm not going to put any this soap on it. I try the the organic. Uh, echo friendly kind of soap it, it seems I'm not working as well and some Chinese uh, 
uh, blogger like who I think they 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 have a business in uh, planting and things like that and they recommend using uh, laundry soap instead of this dish soap and next time I will try that and see which one works better and we'll need to buy some um, some medicines for my plant and see and I think I need to fertilize them I have just purchased some uh, chicken manure last week um, yeah reporting things like that um, yeah I think that's it for this video actually I just want to update my keto diet two weeks time yeah so anyone doing keto again <laughs> And I want to know anyone's doing keto before, but they have stopped. And what is the result? Any bounce back? I saw one of the uh, one of the Taiwanese uh, journalists. She has used like she tried a lot of uh, weight loss uh, program. She, I think she's about forty something. And recently, she has about a year or two, a year ago, she has tried using the keto, and I see the result. Like she have lost her, she has a waistline, very not noticeable that she lose weight. But recently, I found she gained back. <laughs> so I want to know some. Uh, feedback from any other people have this uh, cool experience of bounce um, bounce back <laughs> okay uh, that's it mm, yeah uh, essence in in and in, in front I think he's Having his holiday to France, uh, skiing with two friends. Yeah, he's having a good time. <laughs> and uh, my sister asked me to go for a trip. I said, no, I'm not going. He's going to Macau. I don't really want to go. There's tons of work yeah, in the house to do. Anyhow. Thank you for your time and thank you for listening. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs>